How long is the the ride along? So the ride along probably I'd say right, right around like five or six minutes. Oh, that's cool. That's longer. plenty. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. That's good. But it is good because yeah, it, it protects you from ninety nine percent of UV rays. Yeah, and I spent a lot of time in the desert, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we're Can ready. We close to the start. What's that? I was gonna, I didn't know if they were coming in this side. Go ahead and make yourselves comfortable real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and get in a safe seating position. You have enough leg space? She's good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. You got more room if you need it. Oh, this should be plenty. Let's turn that. This is cool. So what do you think so far? I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> what configuration did you pick out? The, it's the, the blue there in the adventure. Oh, wonderful. The stove. And... Oh, oh, yeah. yeah the camp stove? Yeah. Oh, what do you think of it? Uh, we love it. <laughs> we were just taking a look at it. It's like fully accessorized. It's got everything you need. That's wonderful. And you heard about the uh, the Snow Peak set that comes with it, right? right. I have not. Oh, yeah. There's a 30-piece Snow Peak set and additional, um, I don't know if it's part of the Snow Peak set, but there's an additional Dutch oven as well that goes with the two-burner induction oh, nice. stove. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get in line. So we're just going to go through a brief course, kind of just... Uh, See how the vehicle moves and, and uh, handles and, and the different suspension settings that we have that would be uh, pertain to the course that we have here. I heard this is where they shot Ford versus Ferrari. I've heard that too. I've heard yeah. they've shot a number of different things. <laughs> what? I, I mean, if I haven't, I'm sorry. I'm just, oh, I'm gonna have a go. good time. I like the validation. Of course. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So we're just gonna go through. I'm gonna show you guys the regenerative braking. Right now, it's on standard, so it's not gonna be too harsh. We're gonna go up to 30, and they're just gonna like feel. Oh, not touching the brake. That is like nice. That. Yeah. Do you guys have any previous EV experiences? I you don't. Know. We do. You do. What do you currently drive? Uh, Tesla. Very nice. So you, you're very familiar with regenerative braking. And yourself? Oh, uh, I have a Toyota Camry. Toyota Camry. Oh, this, you're yeah. going to love this then. Oh, I know. I'm just going to go good and just, oh, not getting nice. a little too crazy, just feel how this, this handles the, uh, the turns and everything else. Uh, not your normal truck. And that's in its, its stiff setting right now, but not the most sportiest. We're just going to go around, continue on the course. What brought you yeah. to the Rivian brand? Uh, I wanted something off-road, and I wanted something with mileage mm -hmm. that uh, I could take out to the desert. And, you know, this finally came out. So I uh, decided to buy it. Or put money down and wait for it. <laughs> of <laughs> really. course. Of course. And I like the fact that they're going to have their own uh, charging network. They're going to have two different types of charging networks. And uh, have you spoken to one of the charging specialists yet about no. it? No. Oh, I'll, I'll give you like a brief little overview of it, but I won't be able to give you <laughs> too much, too much in depth. Uh -huh. um, so we've got our uh, Rivian Adventure Network and our uh, Waypoint Network. Uh, the Rivian Adventure Network is going to be kind of along all of your, your major thoroughfares um, to and from places. And then the Waypoints are going to be at national parks and those sorts of things. Okay. Um, yeah. Different flavors of charging for uh, your different needs. Level two at the waypoints mm -hmm. and level three along the freeways. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. So this is our all-purpose mode that we've been in so far. This uh -huh. is what you're going to use 
day to day. It basically can handle anything you throw at it. But we're gonna go into a more specific drive mode right now. We're gonna try out the off-road setting. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a, a question. It's gonna raise up back and front and we're gonna go up to 13.1 inches. I'm gonna leave it in stiff for a moment because we're gonna go through a, a small articulation section. And we're gonna leave the brake hold off. All right, and we're now in rock call. And what this will also do is it will limit you to 20 uh, miles per hour and it will change the sensitivity of the um, accelerator so that when you're going over difficult terrain or anything of that nature, you're not gonna just send the vehicle. This is a very powerful vehicle. It has upwards of, of 800 uh, horsepower. I mean, I'm sure you all know this because oh, you've, yeah. been, you've been watching the vehicle. You've been, how long have you been a pre-order holder? Uh, a couple months. A couple months? Yeah. And, and in the back? Just a month. Oh, just a month. Oh, okay, but you've searched around, you looked at the vehicle and all that oh, kind yeah. of stuff, right? I've been right? looking at it for a while. Oh, yeah, so, <laughs> so all of these stats you're perfectly familiar with. Yeah. Yeah, so of course you know, you don't want all eight motors just going <laughs> right over this kind of a terrain right here. Uh -huh. So we're just going to feel how this chassis handles this. Easy does it. Nice. And honestly, with the, the computers and the four motors acting independently, this thing will make you feel like a superhero over and over again. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've, I've previous to coming here and becoming part of this event, I, I had never off-roaded before. Oh, really? Yeah, and, and first day, like, it, I was a little nervous, and then <coughs> I was driving through all of this, and there's a little bit more complicated course that's in addition to this for the, um, for the uh, separate from the ride-alongs. And... You just go right over it. Wow. Not a problem. And they, they even tested this um, on much harder terrain outside of this course on all-purpose uh, rock, and it, it had no problem as well. So we're just going to continue on straight here. Go ahead and leave it in soft for you. <laughs> Freen Twister? That's the name of that trail? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it, it gets pretty intense in there. <laughs> so what do you think so far? Oh, it's great. Yeah? Yeah. Nathan, what do you oh, yeah. think? Yeah, this is nice. And how are, how are the seats and everything else, all the other experience that we got so far? It's good. Good. I haven't felt it, so that means that it's good. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not a thought, yeah. then it's a good thing. I want you to prepare yourselves. We're coming to a point here where we're going to be doing a zero to 60 run as if you were merging onto a highway and then a, a down to 40 and then back up to 60 uh, simulating passing a vehicle. So if you have any sort of motion sickness, I want to, I don't want to catch oh. you off guard. It is. I was hoping you were going to do that up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. <It's> here. <laughs> I was hoping you would see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what are your plans for the, the R1T once you get a hold of it? Uh, well, I do home health, so I'm going to be using it for work, you mm -hmm. know, and then I go out to the desert a lot down to Borrego Springs, so oh, yeah? it'll be nice to explore the area more Very than much. I can on my Camry. <laughs> <laughs> do a lot of camping. Have you looked at the, the tent yet? Yeah. I'm going to get the tent and the kitchen, mm -hmm. but... I'm trying to figure out, like with the new uh, tax uh, mm. thing that's being passed, yep. uh, you got to keep it under 80 grand, oh. and then you get your full benefit for the taxes, what's it, 7,500? Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> but the kitchen and the tent, I'm yep. thinking, shouldn't be a part of the MSRP, because mm -hmm. it's not a part of the car. It's right. just an accessory, you know? So that's what I want to try and find out. Of course. And I hope um, 
I don't know if any of the product specials been able to answer that for you. Oh, I talked to some of them talk over there. Some yeah, inconclusive then. They, the best answer I got was uh, email of Rivian, uh, <laughs> and then someone there will be able to get back to you. I'm sorry about that. No, that's all right. It's a difficult question because. You know, it's when you buy a car, it's mm -hmm. considered, you know, you're paying one price. Sure. And it's hopefully because of the accessory, it's not going to be uh, included as the MSRP price. Sure. Wow. Look at this. How long is it to the end? You know, I don't know off the top of my head. Enough that we can go pretty quickly <laughs> and cover a decent amount yeah. of ground. Well, it I is an airport. A, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a non-answer, but that's the best I can give you right now. I'm just going to wait a second until this person leaves the um, active cruise control simulation up there. And I'll give you a bit of a warning. I'm not going to just blast you back <laughs> into your seats. Oh. <laughs> I mean, if you would like me to, I don't, I don't have to necessarily warn you. But for health and safety reasons, I think that's a good idea. So is there like a, a launch control or anything like that? It's not like a... Not necessarily, no. We're in a hold mode right now. So I don't have my foot on e any of the pedals. The vehicle is stationary. Um, and from there, you, you can just um, send the vehicle. Uh, and it, it should do pretty well. Um, we do have a sport mode, which we're not going to be using today. Um, which will make that much more aggressive. Um, it'll lower the vehicle down to its lowest setting. It will change the responsiveness of the um, throttle control and, and things of that nature. All right, are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna do my best to launch you guys well, okay? <laughs> In three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Back down. And then one more time. Oh. oh cool. And just a reminder, that's on the all-terrain tires, so not the sportiest that we have. And it's outside of the sport mode. That's just your all-purpose. So that's the acceleration wow. that you're feeling whenever you decide that you need it. It Going seems the like there was... Store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going to the grocery store, picking up whatever you need. You know, <coughs> getting through traffic should you need to. It's all there. It seems like it picked up more speed or what's the it? The second uh, time. Yeah. Yeah, I felt that but, too. All right. So we're going to go ahead and up to 30, and then we're going to bring it into active cruise control. And it's just standard kind of safety feature. Uh, you, you all have experienced active cruise control, correct? Yeah. All right. This one's no different. We do have some semi-autonomous features that we won't be experiencing today, but they are available on the vehicle. Bring it down a little bit. There we go. So it just did all that? Switch lanes? Oh no, I switched lanes. Oh, okay. <laughs> in, in active uh, cruise control, it will warn you when you're leaving the lane and things of that nature if, okay. it's, if it's on in the settings. Um, the driver plus settings will actually switch lanes for you and follow everything else. Uh, but we, we elected not to do that today. So we do have a uh, stand-in for our vehicle up here. It's a lovely half of a vehicle. We call it the balloon car. And it will be the thing um, stopping us in just a moment here. And there we go. So that was all automatic. It was all automatic. I've not, I've not touched anything. And it will come to a gradual stop just behind the vehicle, as if you're in traffic and traffic is slowed. Oh wow! Yep. And then just one click up to end it, and away you go. Yep. Yeah. We we tried to make everything in the vehicle just simple and intuitive. Nothing foreign. Nothing you've never experienced before. It should all just make sense. So what did you think? Great. Yes. Awesome. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was our aim. It, it has the ability to do so many things at once. Uh, it is effectually known as the Swiss Army Knife of Vehicles. Uh, <laughs> Appreciate the ride. Yeah, not a problem. That was awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you. Ooh.